In a recent interview, Ian Gillan was asked if he could ever see Richie Blackmore coming back into Deep Purple. And this is what he replied. The answer to your question is yes, we are in touch. Tensions eased quite a lot after we got hold of our business affairs and sorted everything out. There were previous managers from the past who had not done things exactly as you would like. I didn't get paid for 10 years when I was with Deep Purple. In the big years. And goodness knows what happened to all that. And there were other tensions too. Needless to say, it was all pretty nasty when we finished and Richie walked out. But we're too old for all that now. We've both written some pleasant notes via our managers. I can't write to Richie or phone him because he doesn't have a telephone. He doesn't even have a computer. He lives in a world of green sleeves. He lives in a medieval world and he has messages given to him and that sort of thing. But he has sent some pleasant words to me and I've sent some pleasant words to him. There are still issues. There are still bones of contention. I've seen a lot of rubbish being spoken. It's not even worth rising to the occasion. But I hear David Coverdale and others talking about what happened at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2016. Well, we were very kind to everybody, the current band. And we did invite Richie to play Smoke on the Water with us at the ceremony, but he declined. So those are just opportunistic remarks from the others. We've never had any antagonism towards Richie. He has his own interpretations and the rest of us have our interpretations. So it's really not worth being fired up about it. We discussed this years and years ago when it was first talked about. It would be a circus and it would be a distraction to everything we're doing, to be honest. It would be no fun at all because we don't work that way anymore. While Richie Blackmore said, a Deep Purple reunion would happen if management agents and promoters didn't complicate things. I would like to do one, one, maybe one show with the rest of Purple, just to prove that we're not hating each other. And just to do that and go, hey everybody, it's just one show for all the Deep Purple fans that like the Mark II lineup. That was my idea in the beginning, but when you're talking to the management of Purple, it gets complicated. They want their money for this and they want their money for that. So it's not like you call up your old friends and say, hey, let's just have a good time and play. There's lots of fans that want to hear it. So once you have management and agents and promoters getting involved, it gets so complicated that everybody just calls back and says, it's too complicated. Me personally, I say never say never because, you know, stranger things have happened much stranger things have happened in rock and roll. So let's see where this one goes.